Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can split a picture or an image into quarters. So I'm going to insert my image, go to insert pictures, click on the drop down. You can obviously insert your picture from your files, but I'm going to use stock images. I'm just going to select a random image of these ballerinas and click insert. When your image appears, you can't move it. So select the image, go to picture format, go to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And then we can just move this wherever we want. So the first thing we need to do is to make a copy of it, but we're going to make it a suitable size first. So select it, go to picture format and go along to width. Now you can see the width and the height are odd figures. So I'm going to change the width to 10 and press enter. You can change all this at the end if you wish. But the reason I've done that is just because it makes it a little easier to crop. I'm going to make a copy of this by selecting it, holding down my Alt or Option key, clicking and dragging. Now for this image, I'm now going to crop it. So select it, go to picture format and click on crop. And now because I have made the width 10 centimeters, I'm going to go over to the right and click on this black icon here or black mark and pull it over. And as you can see, you can the width is reducing. And so I pull that all the way down until I hit five centimeters. Now it doesn't always work. Sometimes it will go to five and sometimes it won't let you. It will go to a slightly different figure above or below, but I shall show you how to correct that at the end. Once you're happy, just press the enter key and do the same on the top photograph, go to crop, but this time do it the opposite way. We are at five and press enter. Now we've got these two images. We want to crop them the other way. Now we're going to do exactly the same with these photographs and make the height an easy divisible number. So select your image, go to picture format, go to the height. And again, we're going to type in 10 and press enter. And again on this one, press 10 and then press enter. Now we're going to copy them. So select this image here, hold down your command or control key and select the other image. Hold down the Alt key, click and drag to duplicate those two images. Now this top image here, we're going to go to picture format and crop. And then we're going to pull this up to five centimeters. I think that's just jumped. Yeah. So you can see now it won't let me go to five, it keeps jumping. Just go to the nearest one and press enter and we'll rectify that at the end. Again with this one, click crop, do exactly the same. That one's slightly smaller, crop. That one's gonna let me go to five and again crop. And down to five. Now, the reason we can't do this at the beginning and just crop the photo all at once is because we need to make that slight adjustment with 10 centimeters just to make sure we've got it distributed equally. So now I'm actually going to turn my page round and make this photo a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go to layout, go to orientation and click landscape. And then I want all of these images to be 10 centimeters wide. So select it, go to picture format, Go to width, click 10, press enter and do that for all of them. Okay, now we can space them out where we want to. You can put the exact distance between each image. Now what I like to do is line up the edges here with a relatively equal distance between. But you can see that's not happening because we don't, didn't quite get the crop that we needed. But don't worry, we'll sort that out now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these two up on the edge here. So select this image. Select this one by holding down the command or control key. Now you've got those two selected. Go to picture format, align, click on the drop down and select align to right, which means they're lined up here. And again with these two, I'm going to select them both holding down my command or control key, click on align, align to left. So they're now lined up across here. And then with these two across the top, I'm going to select this one and this one, and then align to top. And then this one and this one, and then align to bottom. 
Okay, so you now see we've got them equally lined up, but you can see they're not quite the same size. So you simply click on this top photo here, click on crop, and then just pull that down so that it's the same as the photo next to it. Press enter. And again with this one, go to crop and then move that one up to join the next one and press enter. And now you can see they're all perfectly equal. If you want this image as one, you can select all of the images, go to picture format, go to group and select group. We can then align it to the center of our page and then align, align to middle and it's perfectly centered. If you want to save this out as a JPEG now, you can right click and simply click on save as picture. And then you can save it to your computer and use it anywhere you like. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.